Hi friends, welcome back to my channel again. So, in this video, we are going to talk about Salesforce orgs. I mean, different types of Salesforce orgs that you can see while working as a Salesforce admin or developer or in the Salesforce ecosystem. So, basically, uh, if you want to know the different types of Salesforce orgs, you need to start with what is Salesforce org. So in our previous video, uh, we have discussed about, uh, you know, how to create a trailhead org so that we can use it as a playground and we can practice over there. In the same way, there would be some kind of instances. Like, uh, you know, let's say I'm working as a Salesforce admin in some XYZ company. There would be like uh, multiple sandboxes. Like in my uh, in my job in real time, we have something called production, where uh, you know real time sales reps will uh, use it. And next, this is like live. And next, uh, we have something called full sandbox. And third, we have something called partial partial sandbox or partial copy whatever you feel comfortable so what exactly in full sandbox does a we do, we do is let's say if we have developed something or if we added a new feature or created some custom field or else created a validation rule or, or created a flow we deploy here in the full sandbox before we deploy in the production and then we will ask stakeholders uh, can you check it or else it is like a testing for the end user like it is like a UAT user acceptance testing and next partial copy so partial copy is something we use it for development so we develop things here uh, it may be an apex code it may be a flow or whatever and we have like when you purchase uh, you know uh, the Salesforce edition, right? Like professional, ulti, uh, I mean unlimited, or enterprise. You will you will get some sandbox licenses as well. If I'm not wrong, it would be around 20. But even I'm not sure about the number. So different uh, users can use different developer orgs, developer orgs, developer pro orgs. You know, based upon their requirement, they can use it. Uh, different developer orgs developer pro sorry developer or pro so what exactly happens is let's say this is your your graduation certificate just assume like that you will show this whenever you are applying for a job or or you know whenever you are showing your certificates to someone and next full sandbox it is like a xerox you will be having the same data in the production in the full sandbox so that users can test it and a partial copy and partial copy is also similar to xerox of this full sandbox nothing more nothing less but the only difference is production is replica of full sandbox i am sorry uh, full sandbox is replica of production partial also replica of production so full sandbox has some uh, big data storage but partial has i think 8 gb uh, and other other uh, organizations have some less data there would be some limitations when it comes to the data storage and some other functionality related issues so this is just for our understanding purpose only nothing more nothing less we will talk more about this and i will show you how you can open the sandbox unfortunately i cannot show you uh, that options because we are using here a uh, free trailhead versions right free developer orgs right we cannot use it but in real time if you are working in a company you can see that i will try to navigate you till that point and let's see how it goes and uh, let me clean this up so uh, what as i told you what exactly happens is let me erase this thing so as I told you, what exactly happened is this is a cycle you need to remember. So this is like real time. This is like your developer thing. 
developer orgs so this is a workshop this is your outlet simple very simple and uh, what happens is for every 21 days or else for a week or specific in the specific pre uh, frequency we will refresh the sandbox so we will go to the production we will search for something called sandbox and then we will refresh it with the full it will take minutes hours or days uh, you know depending upon the data uh, that is present in your org and then in sandbox what we does is we develop something and we will ask uh, user acceptance testing for the stakeholders and then we will deploy the changes into production this is like a cycle uh, if we need production data we will uh, you know refresh it or we can deploy it using the change sets and then again we do something in the sandbox we take confirmation from stakeholders to test in the sandbox and then we will deploy in the production and this outlet uh, you know people will use uh, from the front end like sales reps marketing folks service agents whoever you call so this is how uh, this cycle works basically and as we talked there are like uh, four different types of sandboxes or orgs i would say or would be a, a good word so a developer org is a free fully featured salesforce environment for salesforce developers and administrators to build test and experiment with applications and customizations if you see we have discussed the same like we will deploy something we will customize something and we will we will deploy in the sandboxes and a developer sandbox a developer sandbox is a copy of developer org used for testing and development it is refreshed periodically to ensure data consistency example a developer team uses a developer sandbox to test validate code without impacting the production environment so we have some real time data in the production then we refresh it uh, with the sandbox then the data would be coming into the sandbox so that we can test it and next developer pro sandbox developer pro sandboxes are larger than developer sandboxes so this is a developer sandbox this is developer pro uh, it is giving you much more storage that's it nothing more nothing less the options would be same and next production or this is the real time and developer hub for managing and distributing managed and unmanaged packages it is essential for isv indian independent software in vendors so i don't think uh, you know we came till here but it is okay if you want you can uh, you know read this and understand this concept but this is uh, not up to the mark i would say so i believe you understand what exactly this production and uh, sandbox or if not please do let me know in the comment section then try to just understand the logic i mean cycle of this this is real time data this is clone of data we will test here we will deploy to the production this cycle uh, moves on and then uh, you know if you want to refresh the sandbox there is an option called refresh unfortunately i cannot show you because we are not uh, using the you know production one right now so if you see when you search for uh, setup home search for sandbox and click on licenses or there would be some options to get this menu so if you see there are like 25 developer licenses one developer pro i mean developer pro is not there partial copy one and full sandbox one so the thing is you need to purchase uh, these licenses this is how it works so let's say if the production org is like 1000 usd then full sandbox would be uh, 500 usd if i'm not wrong and if it is 500 usd partial copy would be 250 usd so capacity for full and production would be same you would be having all the data but here it should show the license and next partial copy it is its capacity is 5 gb you cannot include more than that and includes uh, almost all the options and developer pro individual people can uh, you know uh, register for developer sandboxes in uh, in the organization that we don't use much but our developers do so this is how it works 
and uh, i will show you i will try to navigate you till that point so uh, the main purpose of full sandbox is we do not want to disturb a production thing we don't want to disturb production instance so that is the reason what we what we does is we test we deploy in full sandbox only first so this would be a salesforce admin question as well you might uh, get so make sure uh, you have an eye on it and here we will go with the quiz what is salesforce org it is a self contained environment in salesforce data for customization it is not a workplace workspace would be production org uh, uh, no sorry uh, it is not different one it is a not a salesforce type report which type of org is used for building and testing custom applications and configuration we cannot uh, test in production org not in developer uh, hub org but in a developer org what is primary use of developer sandbox creating and refining customizations managing real time data no distributing custom applications distributing uh, custom applications would be developer hub org managing real time customer data would be in the production org a developer would be this one why might an organization create multiple production orgs to confuse their users no to save on licensing no to manage different business units or regions what is the role of developer hub org it is used for packaging and distribu distributing custom applications it is used by isp independent software vendors would be using it so this is the concept friends but as i told you i will show you where you can find this so whatever you come across you just bookmark it so that it would be easy for you so let me click on hands on org here and uh, this was something we have used but today we will try to use this one orgs save launch so this is the best way to open your organizations to practice or to learn something so uh, i have seen salesforce is bit lazy i mean it takes more time to load just click on here setup just click on setup so basically setup is the place where admins and developers live uh and front end or production is something you visit this is your home if you are an admin or developer so here you need to search for sandbox we cannot see because this is only uh, you know free instance right you cannot see but in the production in real time if a company is using it you need to search for something called sandboxes here then it will show you the option and it will show you the license count like this you can create one or else you can refresh a sandbox all the options would be uh, there you can you can see over there so uh, that is it friends that is uh, it for this video and uh, please do watch my previous videos as well uh, for four days i have created four videos this would be the fifth video for day five and in my upcoming videos i would be discussing more on other salesforce concepts as well this is like an admin oriented uh, you know concepts so please do follow uh, you know these videos and if you face any issues do let me know through the comment section and that's it friends that's it for this video please do not forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel thank you and have a great day